Python, my friend, a dark cloud looms over Tower Bay. Whoa. That's a very cookie-shaped UFO. It is. <laughs> it's the Jangler's cookie, and it's been there for some time. I'm so in the mood for a white chocolate and raspberry cookie right now. <laughs> don't even. Don't even. Looking at this thing makes me hungry, man. Oh, no. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I think it should stay. This is a part of Hermitcraft history right here, you know? Yeah, it definitely is. And if we're going to go for the UFO theme, I think we should make like a whole bunch of mini cookies surrounding it. Make it look like a, a cookie fleet. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's the fleet and this is the mothership. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. So I haven't worked on my Tower Bay for a while. You've been like my inspiration. I keep looking across the way. Oh, and... and it's been empty for a while because I've been empty. And that's it, you haven't been on here for a while and I've sort of like lost my... Oh, jeez, I've jumped off the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I have wings. Uh, but now you're back and the project is, is underway again. We've got the purple building built now. Yeah, I picked it up. So there's now only four towers to go, We're halfway through. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, half of the way there. And I noticed the, the roof here is a little bit empty. Yeah, I need to I need to think of something to put in there. We've got cows on the roof on the other one from the Hermitcraft yeah. recap. I don't know. Maybe the folks at home can come up with something. <laughs> I'm I'm sure you'll you'll come up with something cool because you you are known for being the guy who kind of like builds in small spaces and crams in tons of stuff. Look at this right here, loads of detail. <laughs> Efficiency Just loaded into a single spot. Oh yeah, is there still two cows in there? Oh my god, there is. They've survived. Yeah, they've survived the <laughs> civil war. I <laughs> oh, love it. But yes, I would like to help out with building one of these towers. So we were just discussing it a moment ago. Yeah, so we've got the two corner towers here, which are pretty easy to follow. But you were on about you were wanting to take on these sort of central ones because I haven't really got a design yet. Yeah, so you're going to make the other cornered ones the same, right? Like red and purple are the same, blue yeah. and orange are the same. And then these corners here are going to be like red and purple. Yeah, the exact same, just different colors. Yeah, so rather than this thing being completely symmetrical, what I could do is do... This one's lime green, the other one's pink. I'll probably build pink so it's between those two. Yeah. But I'll build one that's even taller and with a different design, and then you can mirror it over here. And uh, I showed my people already how you got your quartz. Yeah, stonemasons. They're like the MVP. The low-slung MVPs of 1.14. Yeah. Of oh, oh, villager trading. Yeah. And how much do you normally pay for quartz? Uh, well, I mean, it's one emerald for one piece of quartz block. So I get 12 uh, okay. per trade. So I have... Oh, they're all sleeping. That's <laughs> kind of ominous. I'm going to sleep in your bed quickly. Go for or it. Or apparently not. Apparently it's not night time. So why are they sleeping? This got... They're yeah, I know. The, the villagers go to sleep before we're able to. It's weird. Get, get out of there. there yeah, that, that's got to... This guy loves climbing the ladder. <laughs> I don't even know he can do that. Okay, get out He's of on it. a mission. If you open these up, do you see the prices are half price? Oh, you push me in. <laughs> oh, one just chucked a piece of clay at you. Yes, they'll do that as well. They'll throw gifts at me. But are the prices halved for you? They are not. They're regular prices for me. What, are they, oh. what kind of prices are they showing for you? I'm getting half price. So clay costs five instead of ten. So it's per person. I thought it would affect the villager. Ah, uh, well, that would have been nice. Do they like offer you two quartz pillars per emerald, or is that the same? They don't. It's uh. only ever discounts on the price at the, the left hand side. So everything there's half price for me, or, or more sometimes. So this is how you've been getting your quartz. Yeah, I've got my entire chest. My quartz. Check okay. this out. Oh, quartz or beautiful. How much do you think that cost me? Uh, it cost me 13 diamonds for the whole thing. What? <laughs> Yeah, I got them from Cub's store. I went to his two-dimensional shop, and he was selling two stacks for a diamond, and I couldn't believe it, and I bought That's all of it. That's <laughs> insane. It is. And now I get to put it to use. So I'm not actually going to be trading with your villagers. I'm just going to break all this stuff down and uh, and then build a quartz tower here. I wonder if you could, like, make an entire quartz tower the same height as these ones here. <laughs> that was what I was actually going to do as a bit of a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. I'm kind of interested to see now. I'm going to have to do it now, yeah, it's been said. <laughs> oh, brilliant. All right, well, I'm looking forward to whatever designs you come up with, because, uh, you know, it's nice to offload the work onto someone else, you know, delegate. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, maybe we can arrange you building a tower on my side as well. Oh, yeah, I like the idea of that. Come to the dark side, Python. <laughs> <laughs> Build like an evil tower. 
Well, how about that, eh, guys? We've got ourselves a bit of a mini exchange project with Azumavoy to come up in a future episode. Uh, so he's going to be building one of my towers, and I have agreed to go ahead and build one of his towers. So, yeah, you can expect that in a future episode, my friends. But in the meantime, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm doing very, very well. It is so hot in the UK. In fact, it's so hot in the UK that I am struggling to function correctly. Correctly. Do you want to know why I'm struggling to function correctly? Do you know how I know I'm not functioning correctly? Well, um, I recorded like half an episode and then I realized the mic was muted the entire time. <laughs> oh no, it's too hot, man. Jeez. So in that failed recording, what I did was I set up the Shop of Light. That is right. Just like we've got the Lord of Light in Game of Thrones, we've got the Shop of Light here, my friends. And yeah, we decided to go ahead and make it in the shape of a lantern. I tried to make it as, I don't know, as pixel perfect as I possibly could, according to the reference image I had from the Minecraft wiki. Uh, so, I don't know. It kind of looks more like a present to me, I'll be honest with you, but it's, it's the best I could do. Uh, maybe someone else could, like, I don't know, point me in the right direction of how to improve it or something like that. Maybe even I could add in some other blocks, make it look a little bit more 3D. You know what I'm saying? We could always improve builds, right? But anyways, guys, yeah, we've got Python Shop of Light here. And basically, the idea is exactly what I said a couple of episodes ago, right? We're going to have one centralized location for having every single light source you can get in Minecraft. Well, I say every single light source. We've got seven different light sources in here. We've got lanterns, glowstone, sea pickles, redstone lamps, regular torches, sea lanterns, and end rods all able to produce light, which is very, very nice. Now, the little twist with this shop is that people can also pay for the items with emeralds because, you know, I, I'm in dire need of emeralds. You know, I could always, you know, keep on buying emeralds from Izuma's emerald shop to keep buying quartz for my skyscrapers project, right? That's pretty cool. But, you know, a little bit of help here and there I think would be kind of nice. So, to tell you the truth, I'm almost tempted to make all of my shops able to accept emeralds as well, right? I don't know. To me, emeralds are a lot more... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're a lot more valuable to me than diamonds are because I've got a ridiculous amount of diamonds. I haven't even mined any this season, my friends. I really haven't. I've just got all of the emeralds from freaking selling stuff, and it's awesome. So, yeah. Anyways, I know what some of you guys are going to be thinking, right? Well, Python, you're kind of encroaching on someone's shop. You're kind of encroaching on the Black Pearl shop. You're kind of encroaching on Concorp's 2D shop. You're kind of encroaching on Green Sea Pickle shop. Oh, jeez. There's so many people selling so many things. You, you honestly expect me to be able to keep track of who's selling what? Jeez, man. There's so many things going on. So, what I think would be a cool idea is if we try to get the other hermits who also sell this stuff on board. Like maybe we could have like a little bit of a shares project or maybe we could come up with some sort of business deal. So I need to get in contact with Concorp, maybe Green, Iskal maybe for the sea lanterns, etc, etc, so on and so forth. Because guys, I think it's just a cool idea just to have a centralized location for light sources. So yeah. I don't know. I think it's cool. And I like the location of it as well. You know, we've got this sort of expanded uh, area of the shopping district, right? So we've got uh, Scar's Glass Shop there. We've got Mumbo Storage Wars. We've got the Totem of Undying Shop. I think Izuma built that. And then there's little old me here with a very present looking freaking sea lantern of epicness. So yeah. Anyways, I'll tell you what. I think what we'll do is we'll try to improve this build. Okay, that's what we're going to spend this episode doing. I know it probably doesn't sound like the most interesting thing in the world, but later on in the episode, we're actually going to be, uh, you know, we're going to be going back into some stuffs with Izuma Void. We are going to be playing a mini game, and it is going to be for a reeking sweet. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. So yeah, a bit more of a chill episode today, my friends. Not too much going on. So if you guys are excited, as always, a like rating would go a long, long way in terms of showing your support. So guys, Guys, we're going to go to sleep, we're going to grab ourselves some resources, and let's see if we can improve that shop just a little bit. And who said we can't add ourselves in a little bit of decoration to try and make this place look a little bit more realistic? I feel like lanterns would have, like, iron bars around them, so something like this? I don't know. It could work, it could not work. All we can do is experiment and see what happens here. Uh, but I think... 
this is a pretty good addition to the build, if I'm being honest with you. So, uh, let's have a look at it from afar. I've basically expanded it out a little bit. Uh, hmm. With that said, though, you can't really see through it. Ah. I'm not entirely sure about that. So, another idea that just sprang to mind was maybe using end rods. So, if we grabbed out some end rods, kind of give it like a little bit of a line texture, and hopefully we should still be able to see everything uh, below. So, uh, can I do that? Okay, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think this could work a bit better than the iron bars. I'm trying to make like a, you know, at least a semi-decent looking lantern here. Uh, let's have a look at it now. Does that look decent? I think that could work as a lantern. Hmm. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Oh, someone's flying past. <laughs> cool. Hmm. Should we do that for the entire lot then? Let's do that. Let's give it a go. Alrighty, guys. So one thing I noticed, I actually made a little bit of a mistake. I actually needed to make the inside part a block taller, right? So, yeah, this is now five blocks tall as opposed to four. So once again, let's just have a little bit of a look at it. Oh, I like how we got a, a bone horse. That's cool. All right. So, it's not looking decent. I don't know. I f there's, there's just... You know when you get that feeling that there's just something off about it, you know? You, you ever get that feeling when you're making a Minecraft world, just something doesn't seem right with it? Like, I'm getting that feeling right now, but I can't put my finger on exactly what it is, you know? I don't really know. I honestly don't really know. Hmm. Maybe it's something we'll have to figure out. I don't know. We could probably just leave it for now. And then come back in a later episode and, like, try to, you know, rectify whatever it is we feel like is wrong with it, I guess. So, what we're going to do real quick is I'm going to add a little bit of a chain up the top here. Yeah, we've got the chain link, but not the actual chain itself. So, uh, maybe we just, like, add a little bit like that. Okay, so that's, like, three blocks taller, I guess. Let's have a quick look and see how that's looking. Uh, because, obviously, the uh, lanterns, they do have a little bit of a thing on top of it. Look at that. So, yeah. Uh, I don't really know, man. Hmm. I don't think that's looking good. <laughs> I can't figure out what's going on with this build. I really, really can't. Give me a minute. Give me a minute, guys. I'll see if I can't do something here. There's got to be something I can do to make this build just look better, you know? There's just something off about it. Well, when in doubt, lantern it out. So we've got a whole bunch of lanterns on the big lantern now. So there's some sort of lanternception going on now. Uh, so, you know, we've got, a pl we've got a plentiful amount of light going on. And the actual lantern build itself is now pixel perfect, according to the uh, reference image I had. So, yeah. I think this works quite nicely. Uh, to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to replace them with blocks. Do we think the blocks could go quite nicely here? I don't know. I mean, we could always go ahead and, uh, you know, surround the build with a bunch of foliage and leaves and stuff, you know. That's always a surefire way of making any build look better, no matter how probably bad the build looks as a standalone thing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That works kind of nicely. I'm down with that. I am definitely down with that. Right, okay, all that's left to do is to, well, you know, decorate the area. You know, we've got leaves going on, we've got path blocks and all sorts of stuff going on here. So, ladies and gents, it's time to naturify this bad boy up. All right, guys, even just putting trees around it has made it look a lot better. So, let's go ahead and uh, put a whole bunch of little bushes down, as Corrales would say, who, by the way, has returned to the server if you guys have been living under a rock for whatever reason. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty awesome. If you guys haven't checked out Corrales already, excellent. Excellent builder. He really, really is very, very good at modern buildings and house tutorials and all that kind of stuff. Very much worth a watch. So, in the meantime, though, guys, we are just going to go ahead and, uh, you know, just bone meal the ground just a little bit, you know. Add a little bit of nature to the area of awesomeness. Okay, and then just a little bit. Da oh, hello, there you go. <laughs> got through in the finish. Yeah, got, got a little bit going on down there. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. The Shop of Light is now done i'd be happy to call that thing done definitely heck yeah buddy all right so like i say my friends to finish off today's episode we're meeting back up with izuma void to play ourselves a mini game it's going to be a great one my friends we're trying out stresses jousting game it's going to be a fantastic time so ladies and gentlemen i'm going to bid you farewell from me for now but guys 
Let's go check out the jousting with Azuma. All right, my friends. Python is going to tell you the name of this game. It is, if I could see it behind me. The <laughs> Ice Queen's Jousting Event. Ja oh, man. I didn't even see that. Just as we're hitting record, I'm thinking, I don't actually know the name of this. <laughs> jousting event. Awesome. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be the blue. You're going to be magenta. Okay. I like that. You know, match me skin and all that. And I got a little bit confused because I think I, as the blue player, yeah, I have to just walk down the bit where we go jousting to yeah. get to the other end. And then all my stuff's down there. So I was confused for a while. <laughs> but down here, we get a nice set of leather armor. Leather armor for the horse and a saddle and a lance trident. Oh, yeah. Put those at each other. Now, it says you've got to pick a horse and you're not allowed to change it. So I'm guessing these horses, they all look the same, but they have different properties. So Yeah, I just picked one at random, really. Now, I'm slightly concerned that we're throwing lances at each other and there are horses. I mean, is there a little bit of uh, like animal cruelty going on here? <laughs> oh, oh, you were also standing on the pressure plate. I was. <laughs> Okay. And there were some note block noises. That's awesome. Okay. Well, I guess we're both ready, right? Yeah, we are. So how about we step off, step okay. back on, and then we go for it. Okay. I think we have to close the gates. Oh, no, there oh, we yeah, go. It closed gates it. are closed. All right. You ready? Yep. I'm on. I am also on. Lance at the ready. Lance at the ready. Come on. Uh, I might not be on the pressure plate. Now I am. <laughs> Go, 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 go. go. Oh, oh. oh, no, you hit the horse. You hit the oh, horse. No. <laughs> okay, I'm back again. Okay. <laughs> uh, you're on my side, what? I guess. Isn't that I how adjusting works? You, like, do a U-turn at the end of it. So you're it, on... It's probably a good idea to do a U-turn, so... <laughs> yeah, because uh... then you're behind the gates again. Okay, right. I I'm ready. Okay. Here we go. Oh, oh. no! I hit I the horse you. again. <laughs> it hit the horse. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, the horse's hitbox is rather big. Oh, here we go. Oh! oh! You killed the horse, Python. What does this mean? I don't know. What does this mean? I don't know. I wish the rules said nothing about a horse dying. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, these guys need breeding up. Well, I guess you're running. <laughs> I'm I'm going to get one more horse. Okay. okay. I, have, I still have a saddle. I does still that, have horse armor. Does that mean you need to pay 20 diamonds? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the game is over when one of us dies, surely. I, I would assume so. Okay, I'm, I'm ready, good sir. I am also ready. All right, on I we go. I am ready to joust. Go, 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 go. Oh, I hit him. Oh, oh, I missed. Oh, you I hit actually me. Hit you. Yeah, you hit me. Yeah. Okay, here we go, round two. Oh. Yes. Oh, you hit me oh, again. I'm going to die. My, my horse oh, is getting good. low. Oh, I haven't hit you once. Oh, oh, oh also... that got me. Oh my gosh. Oh, it got you. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. <laughs> oh, my horse is so close. Oh no. Oh, there is going to be another casualty soon. Okay, I'm going to try aiming when I'm close. Oh no. Oh no, missed you. Missed it entirely. This is great. This is, oh, I'm just it. so concerned for the horses. You know, right. they need a little bit of... Oh, oh I am a terrible aim. I'm, I'm like trying to aim up so I can actually hit you. Yeah. It's tricky, isn't it? Go on. Oh, oh. Yeah. By the way, you hit me again and I'm dead. Oh my gosh. Okay. So you better hit me and not the horse. <laughs> come, on, come, come on. on. Yeah! I've been <laughs> impaled. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, your poor horse has been left behind on the battlefield. <laughs> I will tidy it away. Well, we better <laughs> chuck in our ten diamonds, and then there's a button for you to press to get your prize. Ooh, okay. All right, so you've put your diamonds in? Yep. Oh, where did they go? There's a Is hopper there a under it. It filters it out. Ah, very clever. Now awesome. you get to press the champion's button. Oh, yeah. Whoa! I got that 15! Cool. Nice. It looked like it threw something else. Or was it just diamonds it threw at you? Ah, just chuck diamonds at me. I got 15, so I'm assuming stress keeps them. Nice. Yeah, she'd make cool. a profit of five. I like and that. you'd make a profit of five. That's and I lose 10 diamonds. <laughs> oh, oh, no. 
Oh, poor me. Oh, no. Oh. Just, you know, flashing the bling around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see what you're doing. That was a lot of fun, man. I think this is a cracking mini game right here. Yeah, like I say, I, 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 I foresee another Hermit Olympics. I don't know about you. There's plenty of opportunities in this area for oh, one. Oh, yeah. Awesome. All right, guys, that was a really, really fun little tourney we had going on there. I can't believe how low my horse got in terms of health, though. That was really quite the clutch thing, wasn't it, guys? <laughs> hey, we came out on top, though, so GG Zazuma. That was a really, really fun game. It genuinely was stress. You did a good job there, genuinely. You really, really, really did. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's got to wrap it up for today's episode, though. Like I say, a bit more of a chill episode, working on the Shop of Light build here, playing some games, doing some deals with various hermits. It's all a good time, my friends. So, if you guys have enjoyed today's episode as always a like rating goes a long long way it truly does help out myself the channel and the video very very much hit the subscribe button and guys don't forget ding that bell ding it do it ding that bell so you guys don't miss out on future minecraft content but for now my friends uh, i think off camera i'm going to try and stock this thing up and then i'll put a message in the uh, hermitcraft discord to say that this thing is open and like i say we'll try and get some deals going on with the other hermits who may also be selling things of the same type so guys like i say thank you very much for watching i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next episode